the Chicago Sun-Times, I'm Lori Rackle, and this is Lori's List, where I talk about some of the new shows on TV this week. And this week, a lot of new series will be hitting the small screen. Let's start out with one of the fall's best, Gotham, Fox's hotly anticipated Batman prequel, premiering at 7 p.m. Monday. This gritty, atmospheric drama features a young Bruce Wayne in his pre-caped crusader days. Most of the action centers on an entertaining ensemble led by Ben McKenzie as Detective Jim Gordon, a straight-laced cop saddled with a morally questionable partner and a crime-ridden city. Noirish Gotham serves as an incubator for iconic DC Comics villains like the Riddler, Catwoman, and the Penguin. The latter steals every scene he's in, until sassy crime boss Fish Mooney steals it back. Somebody has to take over. It might as well be me. Monday also sees the launch of Scorpion on CBS. Maybe I'm just tired of computer hacking prodigies who don't know how to act at a party, but this drama is full of artificial intelligence. It's loosely based on an actual Irish genius who hacked into NASA's computers as a teenager. Corporal to command, we have Scorpion. He's just a kid. He and three other socially awkward brainiacs get enlisted by the government to catch the bad guys against all odds. The addition of a misunderstood, brilliant kid belonging to a diner waitress, unconvincingly played by Catherine McPhee, doesn't help. ABC on Monday is giving viewers a sneak peek of its Tuesday crime-solving drama, Forever. This show about an immortal medical examiner is nothing more than a shameless Sherlock ripoff. From the opening music, the British-accented protagonist with a knack for deductive reasoning. He is, without a doubt, the weirdest, creepiest person I've ever met. I couldn't agree more. Why stop there when there are more shows to crib? The inevitable relationship between Dr. Henry Morgan and Detective Joe Martinez smacks of bones and castle, while Morgan's long-lost love from another century rings hollow, as in Sleepy Hollow. Here's hoping forever doesn't last nearly that long. More than any network, ABC has made diversity a top priority with new shows that do more than just cast minorities, they tell their stories. Blackish is a family sitcom co-created by Anthony Anderson. It centers on a successful businessman with an equally successful biracial wife. He worries that their privileged children aren't in touch with their black culture. Lock down that point guard spot. There's no point guards in field hockey, Dad. Field hockey? The pilot is a little light at bringing the funny, but the concept has promise and Lawrence Fishburne. Another ABC show, How to Get Away with Murder, stars Oscar nominee Viola Davis as a scary, strong law professor whose star pupils land in legal trouble of their own in this twisting, turning pilot. Watching it is like trying to follow a trail of breadcrumbs in a hurricane. Executive produced by Scandal's Shonda Rhimes, the queen of ABC's Thursday Night lineup, the show would benefit from easing up on the frenetic pace, taking a breath every now and then, and making its younger cast members seem like they're actually in law school, not an Abercrombie and Fitch catalog. 